guys welcome back to architectural world today we're going to be learning how to create two major type of roof plan in case you've not subscribed to our channel please do subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out our classes this is roof plan one and these are roof plan two the difference between roof plan one and two is that if you check very well roof plan one has vents so which automatically means is because it's a detable you can edit roof plan one you can see you can edit them you can create that vent you can split them then give a command that is roof plan one then with plan two with plan two you can't edit it you can't edit it no matter how hard you try you're not gonna edit it so when you're doing your 3d design on ArchiCAD. Uh, 18 16 22 or whatsoever if you're doing your 3d design and you want to edit your roof plan you want to edit your roof plan like you want to put a vent on the roof plan something like this if you if you're looking towards something like this you need to be very careful when you're plotting your roof so first let's dive into the class i'm gonna work with this okay let me go to my okay i think we, we can use this we can use this part Let's go to this. Now, I want to put a roof on this. Let me take this out. I have to delete this. Okay. Now, I want to put a roof on this. This design is roof plan one. This roof plan one. I just copy it to another page so I don't mess up my design. So, this roof plan one. First, I have to go to my roof. I'll come down to my design. I'll, I'll pick my roof tools. I'll come down to the dialog brush this is where you edit this is where you edit this is the part you edit and this is the part you can either make the mistake or make the correction so first thing you need to do is determine the height of your roof this part i really don't work on it here because the height of the roof might be different so whenever I plot my roof, I'll just go down to my 3D elevation and get that done. So I'm not going to touch this part. Then yeah, you see this first option here. If you activate this option, you can't edit the roof. You can't edit. This is one thing you need to know. Okay, let's do it this way. You see here, yeah, we have generic roof shell. This is editable. You can edit this roof plan but if you turn this on if you turn this on you're not going to be able to edit the plan like the roof is going to be like this instead of like this so when you're creating you have to be very careful in the options you choose so since i want to edit my roof plans i want to put vent on them i have to activate this this is what i'm going to select then i'll come down to the spots i'll change it to let's say one i'm okay with one i really don't need any angle one is okay then this part you see here we call the, we call this part with pitch with pitch so it's depend on the height it depends on the height you're looking at me i always like using 45 degree but if i'm doing a paint house i like going for 55 degree so since i'm doing a bungalow or a mini duplex i'm gonna go with 45 degrees so i'm not gonna touch this part then the next thing i want to go into you see all those parts offset edge zero zero you can just come down to the spots and make this to zero you just turn this to zero offset edge you can see very well you can turn this to zero then i'll come down to my model come down to my model i'll turn on all this i'll pick the kind of roof i want so in this part i really don't concentrate on the kind of roof i want because i'll still take it to atlantis i'll take it to atlantis where i'm going to remodel it so i really don't go into this then what you need again is the edge the edge the edge color has to be in the same line with the with the with the concrete fissure with the parapet whatever you're doing uh let me take you let me open an example okay hold on i'm trying to make you understand something so the edge has to be in line the edge has to be in line it's coming up let's see what we have here okay 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 you can see very well this is what is called the edge this is the edge 
you see i've already rendered this design in atlantis and i've already changed the roof type so that is why i didn't choose the up of the roof because i'm really going to work with it the way i want then this is the edge if i haven't worked this edge to be in the same model with my concrete feature i would have gotten a different color so you have to be very careful when you picking up this edge things like this let's go back to our placing okay so this edge now my concrete feature is on white so i'm going to take a stucco white off you need to choose a color that is similar to what you're designing then the bottom the bottom surface the bottom surface still has to be in the same line with this if you choose another button surface you're going to see another color under this place so the the edge and the button has to be in the same modeling so let's say we'll take this here we'll come down to the spot we'll take this we'll take the same white rough then up is done blah 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 okay good you press your okay and you activate so what you do since uh, we're not working a square design, it's not like a block house or building. It's a design that has different lines. We call it we call it the the construction metal complex roof. You understand? So what we need to do right now at this spot, if this is on, you have to turn on this this construction metal complex. It's going to allow you to pick the edges. Because what you need now is to pick all the edges according to your design. So first, you zoomed, you zoom your design, you pick the edge, you pick the edge like this, pick the edges, okay. You see, I just made a mistake here right now. I click off the edge, so I'm gonna press my escape key and I'll go back again. When you're doing this part, you really need to be careful with where you picked. So zooming it properly is gonna help you. You activate all the edges, okay. You come down to the spots. I pick this edge. Come down here. I pick the edge. You just need to pick the edges from all your designs. Pick the edge. You come down here. Okay. I pick this edge. Come down this. I have so many edges, so that's why my is taking time. So I don't know what you're designing. So whatever you're designing, you just need to pick all the edges according to the way you created your design. You pick the edges okay i come down to this part i come this way okay almost come down here pick this off pick this this then finally this okay you see that my roof it's automatically created let me go to my story you know i have other stories so it's gonna go up you can see i'll turn on my okay you can see this is my roof plan this is my roof plan this is what i have right now so let's see it on our 3d view i'll activate my 3d view okay if you observe from my 3d view the height of my roof is more higher than the main building so i rotate this i bring it to the spot here i can see the difference between this spot and this spot and i'll give a command here i will activate this i'll come down to bottom come down to bottom i'm going to put a command of two nine you just need to put a command that matches these two edge together from your design okay two nine still a little bit far so i'm going to go with uh two it's five let's say two eight five let me see what i have there it's too much so i'm gonna turn this to let's say two okay let me see oh that's much let's say nine nine ten let me see what i have here nine ten a little bit too much then let's say nine zero nine zero it's still too much Nine zero is too much. Then let's say let's go for two eight nine zero. Let me see what do I have here. Okay, stay up. So let's change this to eight. Okay, almost, almost. If you see very well, let me zoom in. You can see I'm almost. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna change this to five. Oh, that's much. 
I'll change this to zero back. Okay, then I'll change this to seven. It's gonna be much. Okay, then I'll, I'll do this to five. Perfect, perfect. So you can see my roof is sitting exactly the spot where I want it. You can see very well, let me show you. Exactly where I want it. That's where my roof is sitting. You can see it very well at the spot. And the edge colors, the edge and the under, everything is having the same modeling. It's only the up that is different, something like this. You see, it's only this up that is different. The under and the rest is having the same color. So let's let's see what we can do. Now, if you want to split this roof now, because the purpose of using that roof is because you want to split it. So if you want to split this roof, okay. So the purpose, the purpose is because you want to split the roof. So what you're gonna do right now, you just click the roof. You left click left click or you right click depending on your hand you right click you come down to split into single plane roofs you turn this on you split anyway this roof is a d table right now you can see it very well you come down to the spot you, you activate it again you go to your edit you come down to grouping you ungroup so right now this roof is a d table you can see you can edit it one after the other let's assume i want to put a I just want to put let's say three meter here depending on my design you can see it's a D table you can now edit this roof each with starts any other thing it's a D table right now so here you can create a vent okay let's try to create a vent let's put a single vent here I'll go down to my roof section I'll come down to the spot in our next class is gonna be how to create a vent but let me just put it a single vent here I'll come here I'll come to my line tools I'll put a line here because I want the vent to be on the straight wall I'll put a line here okay I'll click this I'll create a point here I'll create a point here I'll come down to this part I'll create a point here too come down to this part I'll create a point here then I'll come down to this part then I'm gonna turn on I'm gonna turn on this to this See zero. Then I'll come down to this part. I'll bring this to this. Okay, let's see it in our 3D view. You can see now we are able to create a vent here. So which automatically means you can edit this roof plan. You can edit this roof plan anyhow you want it. You can send it to any space, any design you want to create. You can do it. So now let's let's go to our second roof let's go to our second roof we just come down to this okay come down to this i'm gonna delete this off oh better still let me leave it i still have that same design here let me look for it i have the design here okay i think i do here so let me go to my ground floor okay yeah yeah this is the design here i have it here let's see it on our 3d view let's go to uh, 3d and check something okay what are we creating okay let's put it here because there's the concrete fish here so let's put it here let's take a zoom okay so we're gonna put it here right now okay so let's see Let's go back to our ground floor plan. Now we want to create on a detailed roof plan. So you come down to your roof here. You pick this same icon. You come down to the geometry. You turn on this. And that is all. The moment you turn on this, you can't edit. You can't edit the roof. This is called timber roof. It's not editable. My model is the same thing. Likewise, my colors. So I just click my OK. I come down to the spot. I take the edges as usual. It's already on the geometric method, so I just take the edges as usual. Then I'll come down to the spots. I'll come down. I'll click all the spots. Okay. You click all the spots you want to put the roof. Come down here. 
come down okay you come down to the spot let's see you click this and that is it our roof is created right now so let's go to our story so we can be able to see it this is our roof you can see it very well this timber roof is not editable you can't put any vent on the spots you can't edit this roof let's see it on 3d okay this 3d this 3d so first thing we need to do we need to offset it from the bottom so it sits at the proper edge so you take a zoom at an angle where you can be able to dictate that put roof and your concrete fissure is sitting at the same level come down to the spots you choose your button of set oh uh, let's say you put your like six i think this one is a bit little bit okay let me rotate it well okay something like this you come down to the spot let's go with two let's go with two uh it's too much Let's go with uh, two nine. Let's see what we're gonna have there. Okay, almost. Let's go with three ten. I think I think three ten will do three ten. Let's see. Almost. Let's put go with three twenty. Three twenty. Perfect. You can see it's sitting exactly where I want it. I'll still decide to have another five here because I think it's still a little bit done okay i've got it so now you can create a paint here because this is a timber roof let's see you right click you come down to your split single roof plan you will see that it's only going to be split it is off you come down to the spot you come this way you enter your edit you ungroup you come to ungroup and that is all so in this particular roof if you want to edit it it's always stressful to edit it's always stressful to edit so that is why whenever you're doing it you make sure that this your timber roof is not what you activate it's not what you activate you have to activate you have to activate your geometric roof being this being this this is what you need to activate okay this is what you need to activate so thank you Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification button so you don't miss all our various classes. And in our next episode, we're going to be learning how to design this 3D modeling from the scratch. Like, we're going to be learning how to design this building. This is a four bedroom to place, and you can see it's still rendering. I'm still doing the rendering in Atlantis to the five. It was designed in uh, Akikad 18, and in our next class, we're gonna be learning how to create this amazing design from the scratch. You don't, you don't, you don't want to miss that. So just do us a favor, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notification button. See you in our next class. Thank you.